Hey guys, this is going to be a really quick video about a neat little plugin called Vim Float Term. Um, and all it does is it uses Vim or NeoVim's internal terminal and shows it in a floating window. Um, and it makes it really nice to be able to switch context from your code back to a terminal, back to your code. Um, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it in a second. So let's say I have some code open and I make some changes whatever, and I want to compile it, right? Um, there are a few ways people usually do this. Some people use um, command here, and then just in your Vim normal mode, they write a command. Some people just um, suspend the process, and then write your command here for G++, whatever, and then resume it. Um, but the floating terminal is, I feel, uh, a nicer solution here, where I can use slash T, it opens a floating terminal, I can build it, I can run it, and the terminal is gone. And the terminal actually still exists in, because I didn't close it, I just toggled it. So um, if I change hello YouTube, I save it, I build it again, I run it again. And so you can see that it's hello YouTube this time. Right, the first thing you have to do is install the plugin. Um, we'll use the vimplug command again. And if you can check out our vim config, we have vim float term. Um, and for NeoVim, you might also want to install NeoVim Remote. This allows other instances to open files inside NeoVim. And what we'll do is later on, we'll use the float term, floating window terminal to open files inside NeoVim as well. Um, and I just put a couple of key bindings here, um, one to create a new floating terminal and one to toggle it. Um, the toggle will create a new one if one doesn't exist, so I feel like most of the time I just need one, um, so I just toggle it. You can see that it's still persistent. Um, I can quit it, and if I hit the toggle key again, leader T in this case, um, which in my case is slash T, it opens up again. Um, I can actually open up screen T, and you guys can see my key binding key hits now. So if I press leader T, it opens leader T, closes. Right, and we can use leader ft to create a new one. So this one we can, um, if I type leader ft, it'll create a new one. If I type leader ft again, it'll create a second one. And this has something in it. And um, if I toggle this off, um, you'll see that the toggle always opens up the latest one. But there are certain um, commands here for float term, which says you do first, hide, kill, last. So if I do first, it'll show me the first. Um, I can do float term next, and it'll do next. So um, the way to get into normal mode inside float term is to use control. Control slash plus control n. This puts you in normal mode. And this lets you do two things. One, it actually lets you navigate through your floating terminal. So, so let's say I have some issues here. Um, I'm on my floating terminal and my regular compiler works, but let's say I break something here, I break something here. And what happens now? Okay, the, there are a few errors here. Okay, and but let's suppose that we had some errors above and we had some errors down below. So it's really important to be able to um, navigate into your floating terminal. Now I could launch a tmux instance inside this and then um, scroll using my tmux key bindings, but I need to get into normal mode, but I don't need to do that. I can just do control slash control N and as if I have, I'm in normal mode inside the floating terminal itself. And this is absolutely crucial. Um, another cool thing about floating terminals is we can actually, let's fix this, so I fix it here, and I save it, I can compile it again, run it, everything works. Um, another cool thing about floating terminals is that they can give you a REPL basically for um, interpreted languages like Python or Lua. So I can do flow term new Python and it will give me a Python window where I can just test out some Python code that I want to do. Ooh, one final cool thing is if you actually do have a REPL open, like um, if I have a Python window open, and if, let's say I have some Python code here, I'm just going to put it in some um, a comment here. Um, if I select this and then type floatern send, it'll send the selected text over to the Python REPL. So you can see that it was sent over to the Python REPL and evaluated. Right, and if you have the 
floating terminal open and let's say you see a file that you really want to open even though we should be using fcf to open files i can actually just do float term blah.h and it will open the file inside uh, my actual new vim window and i can do control a because they're all open as buffers anyway so um, that's a really cool way to open files from inside float term so anyways, that's all there is to flow term. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and as always, I will be uploading it, this page here to um, codebion.github.io. Um, it'll show up here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe.